Hey everybody, a uh, new video here uh, putting together really three different days worth of backhoe performance. This first one you're looking at is the stock configuration. If you've got a 1025, a 1023E, this is your experience on the backhoe. And while it certainly beats the shovel, um, I think we can all agree there's a, a lot left uh, to want here. Um, so, um, you know, I mentioned I did these on three different days. Uh, I've, I've got this configuration, which is stock, stock with uh, the modification, and then I've got the modification with a 2025 R pump on the one series tractor. Uh, and, and the way I've described it so far is, you know, you get a huge boost in performance just by adding the kit to the stock pump, and then it's almost doubles that increase in performance once you add the 2025 R pump. Um, what I was just doing uh, there as I was talking is trying to do three functions at once. Um, it's very jerky. You run out of flow, and since you have so little flow, you know that <clears throat> those sweet spots on the sticks are really small, and you can find them if that's what you're trying to do. But if you're out trying to dig a hole, uh, you're not going to find them. You're not going to be looking for them in the same way. So, um, you know, unfortunately, it's just not enough flow. Uh, for that to, to do three functions at once. Now here we are with the stock pump, with the modification. Immediately I think you can see much quicker. You can pull off three functions at once very easily. Um, the jerkiness here uh, is, you know, to believe me when I tell you this, is jumping between, you know, stock configuration and then this configuration and then the 2025R configuration, um, it really is like a different experience each time. So. Um, I'm not quite as smooth, and what I've found is the boom cylinder actually moves really fast. So you've got to you've got to feather that one a little bit more. Uh, and since I'm pretend digging here on my concrete, I'm trying not to scratch it up. Um, I find that I'll I'll get down too quick or pull up too fast, and and that's really some of the jerkiness that you have. But you see there, three functions at once, even four functions at once, no problem. Now this is the way that the backhoe should operate. Uh, this is the modification with 2025R. Super smooth, plenty of flow, uh, flow left over for that matter, I would say. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, four functions at once. I'm literally doing the three functions and swinging probably as fast as the stock configuration could swing, doing nothing else. Um, this is just a really good backhoe experience. and. If, it, if you're spending any amount of time with your backhoe, if you have your backhoe and every once in a while you plant a tree or do a little bit of landscaping, you know, I think the stock configuration with the kit is probably what you're really going to want. If you're spending any amount of time on a backhoe, this is how it should work, and you're going to want to invest in either the pump from John Deere. It's going to be about $700 uh, by the time it gets to your door. Um, or I'm working on a pump that is the same displacement, which is 9cc. The pump's a little bit bigger, so I have to make a small modification to the PTO shield. Um, but uh, I think, or I'm, I'm aiming to be able to sell the pump for $500. So that's going to save a couple of hundred dollars. And I think, um, you know, if you can get in this full system with the modification and the pump that lets it go this fast, I mean, look how quick that bucket moves in and out. We, if you could get into that for $1,000, if somebody offered this to me, I, I couldn't get my wallet out fast enough simply because uh, you've spent so much money on a tractor and a backhoe, and for less than probably a new Frontier box blade, you can actually have performance like this for your backhoe, and then you, I think you've probably seen the loader video very quick, um, just really the way it should be in my opinion. Um, You'll see the stabilizers move just lightning fast. I mean, that's not important, but I think it does give you a sense of just how much more flow you have in this configuration. The other thing that I was doing a little bit of is just raking the two functions at once. It does that very quickly. So that's it. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, in the description, I have my email address. Feel free to reach out to me.